Hello, Idealistas. Today is Thursday, and in our scavenger hunt, okay, we are having seashells. I don't know if you can see it really well. I think it's too bright for you to see them. Can you see them? Oh, it's going to be kind of hard for you to see them. But these are seashells. Maybe if I can put it like that. Oh, yes. Okay. So these are seashells. Do you see that? I got these ones in Oregon in Seaside, okay? My husband and I, we love the seashells. I don't know if you can see it. I kind of like dimmed it a little bit. Oopsie, way too much. <laughs> okay, so there they are. So that is the scavenger hunt for today. Seashells, seashells from Seaside, Oregon. We actually got them last year. It was so much fun. I really That's love that toys. place. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start. Yes, I see. So, um, Madame Maxime was waiting for Karkaroff, right, to arrive, and that's where we stop. So, let's go ahead and let's read. Yes, I see. Warm up, I think, said Madame Maxime. But, Ciro's, our care of magical creatures teacher, will be delighted to take care of them, said Dumbledore. The moment he has returned from dealing with a yes, slight situation that has arisen with some of these other chargers. Scrooots, Ron murmured yes. to Harry Greening. Yes, Isaac, you gotta be a, it's too loud, okay, bud? My steeds require a forceful handle, said Madame Maxime, looking as though she doubted whether any care of magical creatures teacher at Howard could be up to the job. They are very strong. I assure you that Hagrid will be well up to the job, said Dumbledore. Ooh, I think that Madame kind of like talks like Hagrid. I don't know if you have noticed that, but I have. Very well, said Madame Maxine, bowing slightly. Will you please inform Sis Hagrid Sat safe horses, drink only single malt whiskey. She kind of talks like him, huh? Do you think they're going to like each other? We'll see. It will be attended to, said Dumbledore, also bowing. Come, said Madame Maxine imperiously to her students. How big do you reckon Darmstrong's horses are going to be? Siemens Finance said, leaning around Lavender and Poverty to address Harry and Ron. Well, if they're any bigger than this lot, even Hagrid won't be able to handle them, said Harry. That's if, if he hasn't been attacked by his screws. Wonder what's up with them. Maybe they escaped, said Ron, hopefully. Oh, don't say that, said Hermione with a shudder. Imagine that lot loose on the grounds. They stood shivering slightly now, waiting to the dorm strang party to arrive. For a few minutes, the sunlight was broken only by Madame Maxime's huge horses, snorting and stamping. But then, can you hear something, said Ron suddenly. Harry listened. A loud and oddly airy noise was drifting towards them from out of the darkness. A muffled, rumbling and sucking sound. The lake, yelled Lee Jordan pointing down at it. Look at the leak! From their position at the top of the lawns, overlooking the grounds, they had a clear view of the smooth black surface of the water. Except that the surface was certainly not smooth at all. Some disturbance was taking place deep in the center. Oh my gosh. Great bubbles were forming on the surface. Waves, waves were now washing over the muddy banks and then, out of in the middle of the lake, a whirlpool appeared. What seems to be long black pole began to rise slow out, slowly out of the heart. It's a nest, said Ron to Hermione. He said to Ron and Hermione. Slowly magnificent, the ship rose out of the water, gleaming in the moonlight. It had a strangely skeletal look about it, as though it were a resurrected wreck in the dim, misty light shimmering at its portholes. Looked like ghostly eyes. Finally, with a great slushy noise, the sleep, the shape, 
emerge entirely, bobbing on the turbulent water and began to glide toward the bank. People were disembarking. They could see their silhouettes. Passing the lights in the sheep's portholes, all of them, Harry noticed, seemed to be built along the lines of Crabble and Goyle. But then, as they drew nearer, walking up the lawns into the light streaming from the entrance hall, he saw that their bulk was really due to the fact that they were wearing clocks of some kind of shaggy matter, matter, fur. Dumbledore, he called hardly as he walked up to the slope. How were you, my dear fellow? How were you? Blooming. Thank you, Professor Kakarov, Dumbledore replied. Kakarov had a fruity, unctuous voice. When he stepped into the light pouring from the front doors of the castle, they saw that he was tall and thin like Dumbledore. But his white hair was short and his goatee finishing in a small curl did not entirely hide his rather weak sheen. When he reached Dumbledore, he shook hands with both of his own. Dear old Howards, he said, looking up at the castle and smiling. His teeth were rather yellow, and Harry noticed that his mouth did not extend her to his eyes, which reminded Colt a shrewd. How good it is to be here. How good. Victor, come along into the warmth. You don't mind, Dumbledore. Victor has a slight head cold. Karkaroff beacon forward one of his students. As the boy passed, Harry caught a glimpse of a prominent curved nose and thick black eyebrows. He didn't need to punch on the arm Ron gave him or the hiss in the hiss ear to recognize that profile. Harry, it's crumb. <sighs> okay, and that is the end of chapter 15. So today we read pages 245 and 2 through 247, okay? Scavenger hunt. My two items are my two seashells that I brought from Oregon, okay? I don't know if you can see them really well. I think that you can see them over here, okay? These are my two seashells. Well, actually, I brought a lot of these seashells. Um, we found them, and then you kind of, like, bleached them. They were dead, by the way, they were dead. I did not grab them, but they were alive, okay? So, yep, this was my scavenger hunt. This is the other one that I have over here. We love them. I mean, every time that we go to Oregon and Washington, because we both, we, we, we go to both places. So, I hope that you guys know about our scavenger hunt, and it's crump, it's there. I cannot wait for next week for chapter 16. Have a good one.